Resurgence has been initiated. And the computers here in the firing room, the ground launch sequencer is now controlling the countdown. There will be over a thousand parameters checked by the ground launch sequencer between now and T-minus 31 seconds. And at T-minus 31, the ground launch sequencer will hand off to Space Shuttle Atlantis' onboard computers. Latest balloon data shows that everything aloft is good. PLT, connect essential buses to fuel cells. Connecting the essential buses. The essential buses are connected. So after Atlantis reboots the space station, it will have increased its orbit by approximately 25 miles. PLS is go for OAA retract. Retracting the orbiter access arm. It can be put back into position in less than a minute if necessary. RPS, start AP strip chart recorders. This RPS, recorders are running. PLT, perform APU pre start. APU pre starts in work. And the next milestone will be starting the auxiliary power units at T minus five minutes. The pilot will flip three, three switches in the cockpit. APU pre starts complete. Three gray talkbacks. Copy. T minus five minutes. Let's just go for orbiter APU start. PLT perform APU start. Starting APU. CDR reconfigure heaters. CDR, that's a work. Terminating liquid oxygen replenishment at this time. E minus four minutes and counting. PLS is go for purge sequence four.
going through the orbiter's aerosurface profile test, checking the rudders, speed brake. Main engine gimbal check. The steering check in the three main engines. Check, complete and good. T minus three minutes and count. Starting pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank. Preparations now to retract the gaseous oxygen vent harm. Clear caution warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. We have no unexpected errors. Clearing the caution warning. And the beanie cap now being retracted. Fuel cells has been terminated. Close and lock your visors and initiate OT flow. Best wishes on your mission to service the International Space Station. Copy that. We're on our way to the station, and we'd like to say thanks to everybody who has made Atlantis and us ready for launch. See you in about a week and a half. DLS is go for LH2 pressurization. One minute, 30 seconds. Sound suppression water system now being armed. Minus one minute of counting. Solid rocket booster joint heater is now being turned off. And the solid rocket booster flight data recorders are activated. Final check of the solid rocket booster steering commands now underway. T minus 31 seconds, the handoff to Atlantis's computers has occurred. 25 seconds. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Main engine start. 4, 3, 2, one and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, a space shuttle for the 21st century. Houston is now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Roger roll, Atlantis. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is now in a heads down, wings level position, headed toward a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Twenty-eight seconds into the flight, Atlantis's engines are now throttling down to 72% of rated thrust as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Atlantis currently at an altitude of 3.6 miles, about two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. All systems on board are performing well. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Atlantis's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Atlantis now at an altitude of nine miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at six miles.
Flynn is traveling now at a speed of about 1,600 miles per hour at an altitude of 14 miles and downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 10 and a half miles. All systems on board are continuing to perform well. One minute and 48 seconds into the flight, Atlantis now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 22 miles at an altitude of 24 miles. The next major event will be the burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. A booster officer confirms good separation of the two solid rocket boosters. Atlantis now at an altitude of 34 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 42 miles, 2 minutes and 25 seconds into powered flight. Atlantis, two-engine tail. Copy, two-engine tail. With that call, in the event of a single engine failure, Atlantis could now reach the transatlantic landing site at Zaragoza. Telemetry continuing to indicate that all three engines are performing as expected. All systems on board continuing to perform well. Two minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, Atlantis now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 69 miles, traveling at a speed of 3,600 miles per hour. Well, on top, Zarya on the bottom.